Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna give you an update on what I'm currently mining and why I'm mining it. So let's get started here. We'll jump over to the computer and we're gonna take a look at my awesome miner, which has almost every rig in it. Not every single one. We'll talk through the ones that aren't in there and why they're not in there a little later in this video. But what you can see is the vast majority of my mining rigs are still on Ethereum. No surprise to anybody. Not every single one is on Ethereum. We'll talk through some of those later in this video. But for right now, the big ones are, that's the 3090 rig, the 3070, 12 by 3070 full hash rate rig, and the mixed 12 by 3060 Ti, 3070 rig, all on Ethereum, as well as every AMD card that I have on Ethereum right now. And probably no surprise to you, but the reason I'm on Ethereum is it's the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine and the vast majority of GPUs. Um, I'm also still selling half the Ethereum I mine that week to my native fiat currency, that's US dollars for me, uh, to pay off electricity, pay off any new GPU purchases. So that's still the strategy that I am using for sure. And the other thing, of, of course, is I believe in Ethereum in the long term, and I want to stake and have nodes as many as I can on the Ethereum network when proof of stake does eventually happen. So really invested in the project. Financially, it makes sense for me, but not everything's on Ethereum. So we'll talk through some of those other ones here as we go. So the next one you can see, which kind of remains unchanged, is this six card, which is actually five cards right now because one of them is down um, and I got I to gotta figure that out. But the six card 3070 Ti rig still on nice hash on the Autolycus 2 algorithm, which is Ergo's algorithm. And the reason it's on there still remains the same. And I'll talk about my future plans for that too. But uh, the heat that those cards generate, I'm just not interested in replacing the thermal pads in them right now. So that's why they're on the Autolycus 2 algorithm, which is, is really, really low power. It also gives me the opportunity to stack some Bitcoin, uh, which is why it's on nice hash so I can accumulate Bitcoin for it. Um, and also the, like the power setup of that rig when I have moved it to other algorithms, not only those cards get really hot, uh, but that power supply, I have them on, it's, it's a single server power supply in combination with an ATX, but it's got a, a pretty large load on it. So it starts to uh, do the server power supply scream uh, that it does. Uh, by the way, server power supplies, if, you, if you're curious how loud those could be, I have a video on that. I'll link it up in the card there. But my plans for that rig, I want to move it over to... Uh, Ravencoin or Firo or something else. I think my goal is to get those cards in a server case uh, because when I put the 3090s in the server case, it really showed me that I don't need to replace the thermal pads with the amount of airflow that those cards are going to get. So I'm looking to do that at some point, just haven't had the time and the, the, the hardware to do it, but hopefully that is going to change here in the future shortly. So let's keep rolling here. What else am I mining? Firo. Let's talk about Firo. So I've been solo mining Firo, and you can see I'm mining it on this six card 3060 rig, which has remained unchanged for many, 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 many months now. Uh, and then I have this single 3070 Ti, which is on my main PC upstairs, that will jump on and off of it as I'm using or not using it. So let's take a look at how I'm doing with solo mining Firo. We're going to go over to two miners solo mining, and you can see my personal luck right now is 59%. Uh, I did just hit a block recently. I think this was yesterday I was making this video. Uh, and you can see really bad luck, 154% luck. Refresher, anything above 100 is bad luck. It means it took longer than if you statistically just mined to a pool. But anything under 100% luck means that you did better than if you were just mining to a pool. So solo mining here, you can see I've had some rough goes at it with these really high lucks, but also had some really lucky days as well. And that's the last, I think, 11 blocks, which... My luck score isn't great. I think my luck is starting to run out a little bit. You can see my personal luck for the last 11 blocks is 111%. I had that under 100 for month over month over month over month, but I think it's finally catching up to me uh, and I am not as lucky right now, but still solo mining. You can see how much Firo I've solo mined since I've started this project, um, which is fantastic because my goal with Firo, I'm not planning on selling it. I'm planning on getting enough to run a master node on the Firo network. I really like the project. I'm wearing the shirt. I didn't realize I'm wearing the shirt today. I really like the project and I want to support it uh, as we as we go forward. So that's uh, that's that one. So let's keep rolling here. What else am I mining? Go back to Awesome Miner. More Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Oh, okay. Let's talk about this rig. So this is one of the rigs that's not in here. 
And I'll tell you why. So this is a five card 3080 Ti rig. So let's switch over to my Hive OS and we're gonna take a look at that rig, which is Moose. So Moose isn't in there because Moose is dual mining right now. It's dual mining both Ethereum and Toncoin, and it has been since I made the video on it. I'll link it up in the card um, a month ago, a little just under a month ago, I made a video on dual mining both Ethereum and Toncoin. And so I've been doing that, haven't changed it. One thing I have noticed here, if you guys can see, is that the card's performance is, is pretty all over the place. And I would expect that amongst like some different makes and models. But actually, this card, EVGA GPU 1, GPU 3, and GPU 4 are all for the win three cards. And you can see the difference in performance uh, on all those cards using the same exact overclocks and everything. Whereas this GPU 1 is just crazy outperforming both on Ethereum and Ton. And what I've noticed as I was getting ready for this video is that that is running a different BIOS version than the other two cards. So I think what I have to do is update the BIOS in Precision X EVGA software for those other two. I did it on the one, if I remember, and hopefully I can get a little more performance out of those. Maybe I'll make a separate video or something on that. But this has been going really well for only a little bit more power, if that. I haven't changed my Ethereum overclocks at all. Just for only a little bit more power, I'm able to generate Toncoin. And I'm looking right now, and I'll show you guys. So since making that video under a month ago, I've mined 21.35 Toncoin, which of making this video is worth 43.46 cents, if you guys can see it there. So for me, that's money I wouldn't have had before. So I'm really stoked to be able to generate additional revenue on that rig. The other one that's not in here that you don't see mining is the GPU that's in this test bench, which is the white 3090 Strix. So that's mining actually on this machine right now. Looking really good. Do 122 mega hash on Ethereum um, for 306 watts being pulled in line over PCIe. So that's another one mining away for me. Uh, let's go back to Awesome Miner because that's all the GPUs that I have mining right now. I still have more to get set up. But I also have two other miners, and that is the Avalon 1066 Pro uh, sent over from Mining Syndicate. That is currently mining Bitcoin doing about $10 a day right now. I have it in, it's kind of like um, efficiency mode. So it's not pulling as much hash as it could. And then the other thing I just got, which I'll have a video on as well, is the mini Doge from Gold Shell. That's mining, uh, combo mining both Litecoin and Dogecoin uh, right now, which is uh, really fun, really cool little miner. And it's just been a lot of fun to do, uh, to use that. So I guess kind of things I'm thinking about, you know, a lot has remained unchanged with little tweaks here and there, but things I'm thinking about going forward is, uh, first of all, dual mining. Do I want to get more rigs mining Toncoin and Alephium? Um, I just, it's just a lot of work to do, but I am curious around that. If I can pull, you know, additional revenue in, then it might be worth it. So I might try a rig at a time and just keep adding and testing it to see if it will be worth it for my situation. Additionally, I really want to get some more things on Firo. My luck hasn't been great, and I would like to accelerate me getting to that master node. I think that would just be a lot of fun. So I'm eyeing up my LHR cards, which the majority right now I'm thinking about are the 3070 TIs, getting them into some kind of server case and getting those pivoted over to solo mining Firo. But I think that is everything that I have been mining, everything I've been thinking about, and, and my plans kind of coming up. Um, but that's it, guys. I'd love to hear from you. As always, let me know down in the comment section, what are you mining right now? Are you dual mining? Have you shifted multiple rigs to dual mining? Are you doing any solo mining? I'd just love to hear from you. I'm very curious on what you're doing. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. You can follow me on social media. I have a Twitter and Instagram linked down in the description. As always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.